Hey everyone, and welcome to today's Heart to Home devotional. Uh, thank you for sharing a small part of your, your day with me as we open up and take a look at God's Word. Uh, today, I would like to read 1 Peter 3, uh, I'm sorry, 1 Peter 1, 3 through 5 to you. It says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Now we live with great expectation and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled beyond the reach of change and decay. And through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day for all to see. So as I was, I was sitting in my chair in the dark of the morning, um, the counsel of the word to my soul with these verses uh, was very comforting. And they, they sound like a, a, a very good deal for us as Christians. And when I say a good deal, I don't mean like we're strolling down a line of vendors who are presenting some or presenting us with some type of, of bargain and where we choose whatever deal would benefit us the most nor do i mean uh, that god in in some sort of oversight offered us a deal where he loses out on something and what i mean is that our creator gave to us freely a gift that we can choose to accept or reject and we we only benefit and we lose nothing so look at what god is doing here his side it is is by his great mercy that we have been born again and the way that this this great mercy was given to us is that god raised jesus christ from the dead so we have been born again which in, a, in and of itself would have been enough. But then it says that we have an inheritance. An inheritance is, is something that someone else has that they are willing to give to you. And unlike earthly inheritances, this inheritance is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled beyond the reach of any change or decay. Imagine such an inheritance. There, there's, there's simply no drawback to this. It's glorious. And why do we de deserve such a thing? Well, we don't deserve it, but we have been adopted into God's family and he has called us his children. So not only do we have that to look ahead to, but notice that what it says in verse 5, that God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation. So there's, there's nothing more powerful than God, and he's protecting you by his power. Salvation in this verse means stepping into eternity and finally receiving that promise uh, in heaven. So you are protected your inheritance is protected so there's no war there's no pestilence there's no in inflation there's no tribulation that can overcome what you have through jesus christ and what is our role in the, in these verses well in verse 5 it says through your faith that we gain this inheritance and protection and in verse 3 says that we live in great expectation. God is a, a good and perfect father, and he would not put expectations on us that are impossible. Do you believe that? When we are, are to live in faith and to live with great anticipation for the gift that awaits us from our heavenly father. Our reward for doing that is beyond what we can imagine. All praise to God, as, as Peter said. Let's close in prayer. And Lord, um, you've, you've given us so many things that we don't deserve. 
and, and yet Lord we are freely called your children and I pray that you would just help us to rest in that understanding of our standing we thank you Lord in Jesus name Amen alright God bless you guys we'll see you the next time